Hi, I'm Roy Murphy. You're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video, BitConnect Health Report. Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome back to the BitConnect YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing the fear, uncertainty and doubt that we have been flooded with over the last week, um, both on the YouTube channel and in my personal emails. Basically, some of the information coming from uh, one of the people in this video that I've highlighted here, Cliff High. Now, Cliff is a very well-respected member of the crypto community, but uh, teamed with uh, another channel with Bix and with JSNP, some of the videos that they've been producing over the last couple of weeks has produced a lot of ferment within the community that has given rise to a lot of doubt and uncertainty with lots of people that has actually caused quite a stir within the community so uh, actually i've just seen this why i stopped entertaining the fud jedi knight now jedi is a great guy he's a good member of the community who is always open and honest and uh, i'm going to add that to my watch later so i'm going to do that now there you go so um so back to what we're talking about now I, this isn't a personal attack on anybody in particular and it's certainly not an attack on cliff because um he is well respected and most of what he says in most of his videos i do actually tend to agree with he's um He's respected for various reasons, but mainly because of his insights and his analytic approach to um, to cryptos in general. And he does tend to cover the whole board of the crypto community. And, you know, they're not all good. Some of them are bad. Some have good intentions and some of them just don't have legs. Um, so it's really hard sometimes to sort the wheat from the chaff. And um, the reason why I've highlighted this video today, now this video itself, it's two and a half hours long. It's a Q&A session with Cliff High. It's one of his better videos because he actually does post a lot of insights and I've watched the whole video. A member of the community actually sent this to me earlier on and it's only had 46 views. It's hosted by Eric B, who is uh, one of the members of the video. Fairly nondescript in his input, but um, it's only had one like and there's only 12 subscribers So, you know in the grand scheme of things it doesn't actually do that much damage itself and um, there's nothing Significant about the video at all apart from it actually has some genuine good comments, but this was sent to me by um, by one of our community dr. Terence Dunn and he's addressed some of the FUD that has been in previous videos and this uh, mainly because they keep bringing up BitConnect so I want to read this now I have actually already added a public reply and I spent about half an hour giving a very concise um, reply that took me about half an hour to write and I pushed the wrong button and it ended up refreshing the page and I lost everything I wrote so I thought the best way of addressing this is to actually make a video on it. So this is an unplanned video. This is all ad-libbed, but I want to address it because of the uh, of the response. And this is generally regarded very much by the community that are in BitConnect. So I'll read it to you. It says, I'm saddened that Cliff and Bix and JSNP feel the need to single out and bash BitConnect everywhere they go these days, as it were, like Procrustean saviors of humanity. They adopt a very hygienic posture, adamantly opposed to the one cryptocurrency that has the potential for mass adoption and the ability to create spendable tokenized wealth rather than some hoddled misery clash uh, of exclusive wealth that no one is planning on spending in any great quantity anytime soon. No less using it to pay their taxes to the elected, so described evil governmental powers that be. They bemoan the opportunity of the poor, simple and unhoddled masses to participate in the great crypto revolution that they otherwise want to bless with its propensity to pull out the third world out of impoverishment. Perhaps it is the fact that BitConnect is the only real currency that connects the digital wealth of Bitcoin to the realm of paper money, be it pounds, dollars or euros, within which we find ourselves now, and for the unstable, foreseeable future of fiat currency in general, not often discussed is BitConnect's ability to protect us all from the hyperinflation of fiat money implosion. I see it as a gift of, uh, to people of all stripes and walks who will otherwise suffer greatly in these inflationary fiat money denominated times ahead, 
Do yourself a favor and check out Dr. Roy Murphy's thoughts on BitConnect. His channel is devoid of demagoguery, as well as the exclusivity and neo-purism that otherwise mars Mr. High's advocacy for the crypto space in general, and its ability to transfer wealth to those who need it at the most and to those who don't. Dr. Murphy's YouTube channel with a link to our um, to our channel. You'll be so glad you did, uh, Dr. Dunn. Now I did add a response and I'm quite annoyed that I actually ended up pushing the wrong button and, and messing everything up. So first of all, uh, Terry, thank you so much for your comments. Um, I did try and respond. I know you sent me an email and you did actually kindly send me the link as well to this video. And I have watched the whole video all the way through, all two and a half hours of it, as if I didn't have anything better to do. But um, I, I do respect Cliff in many aspects. But what I do want to do is to highlight some of the things that he brought up and some of the things that he's brought up in many other videos as well. So he is not a fan of BitConnect. And to be honest, neither was I. I wasn't on day one. I was very skeptical of BitConnect because of I know high yielding um, investment platforms. And I really want to try and put everything in perspective. When we talk about, I get so many emails every day talking about, is BitConnect sustainable? And they try and give me the math and nine times out of 10, it's all wrong. Which is fine. The fact is, is that there's critical thinking out there and I don't want to stop people having critical thinking. Don't just take my word for everything that I say. We are an education channel. We try and learn every single day about what's going on, where the market's going. Okay, these are insights that we derive from mathematics. This, this is my niche. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. You know, we're not one of those channels that go and say, you know, today we've built a team of 100 people and we're rolling in money and we're doing really, really great. No, we are doing good. We're doing good because we're building a really secure community of people. Most of those people are like-minded. Most of these people have families. Most of these people aren't wealthy. They don't have money. They've saved for what they can invest. We've made it very, very clear that you should never invest anything that you cannot afford to lose. So we've made that very, very clear earlier on. What we should do is look at high yielding uh, investment platforms in general and see where Cliff is coming from, because he does actually have a point. If you look at the industry in general, now, bearing in mind that BitConnect was very, very early on as the investment platforms for cryptocurrency, and it's there for a reason. It's been there the longest, and I think it has the longest legs. It's not just my philosophy or my feeling. It's all based on mathematics. We've covered the, you know, the revenue streams for BitConnect before. We've looked at the, um, we've looked at the whole, the whole sphere of how it works. I would not put my own family, my children, my uh, my oldest son who is invested, my wife who is invested in BitConnect, my wife's grandfather who's in his 80s. I wouldn't bring these people into BitConnect if I thought for one second that it wasn't sustainable long term. Now when I say sustainable, everything has to be put into perspective. Sustainable does not mean forever. Okay, sustainable doesn't mean, you know, if you're 20 years old and you want to get into BitConnect, that, you know, it can be your retirement plan when you're 65, because I'm pretty sure it won't be. When I say sustainable, I mean, if you got in now and you started investing $100 or $1,000 or $5,000, does it have enough legs for you to earn a 10 times, 20 times, 40 times your investment and for you to be able to have an exit? based on uh, you know normal trading values that you cannot get anywhere else can you make those kind of investments and have a proper exit plan and the answer to that is resoundingly yes now if you look at it mathematically and Cliff High actually talks about the history 
of fiat currency and the fact that fiat currency has never worked from the Roman times. And that is true now as it was 2000 years ago. And it's also the same for this kind of platform. Will BitConnect be around forever? The answer is no. Will there be something better? The answer is yes. Is there something better now? The answer is no. There is nothing out there now that is better than BitConnect as a cryptocurrency investment platform. Now, I'm sure there will be long term. And I'm sure there will be better opportunities long term elsewhere. But in the next two to three years, I cannot see anything touching BitConnect. And in those two to three years, will BitConnect reign supreme as it has over the last year? Yes, it has. And yes, it will. So we're being honest. You know, the system is not designed to be there forever. It is designed to give the common people an opportunity to invest and make fantastic gains because of the nature of the protocol that it's based upon. I'm not saying it will be around for 50 years and it's indefinitely sustainable. The mathematics proves that it cannot be. It can't be here forever. But it does have legs and it is sustainable in the mid to long term. So when I say mid to long term, I don't know if that's going to be three years and I don't know if that's going to be 10 years. I would guess somewhere in the middle. And it's not going to be something that's just going to disappear overnight. It will be something that we as a community will see. It will be something that we can react to. And I want to give you not just an analogy. I want to actually educate people how we can be, how we can protect ourselves, how we can protect our families. How can we use this information to make the best gains and to have the best exit plan? Because there's no point tying all your money up into a system if you can't monetize it and you can't bring it into the fiat world. Now, in the future, we won't have to bring our crypto into the fiat world. We won't have to go to an exchange and convert our gains into dollars so that we can spend it. This is what we have to do over the next two to three years. This is a short term plan or short to midterm plan. So in three years time, I imagine that there will be so many people adopting cryptocurrency in general that it will be fairly normal for us to have payment cards, transaction systems where we can pay. We can go to the supermarkets and pay for our food and pay our bills in crypto, whether that be Bitcoin or an alternative or a fork. I don't know. I don't have the answers. But what I do know is that it is the future. And I also know, and Cliff High will also agree, that fiat currency is dead. It's not fully dead. It is in the process of dying and dying badly. So these things we can agree on. So I think the best way to understand is uh, another one member of our community actually sent me this today. And this is the crypto HYIP top list. Now, HYIP is high yielding investment platforms. There are many. Bitcoin uh, and BitConnect started a wave of cookie cutter West, um, websites like Western Coin. And it gives you a synopsis, a really detailed synopsis of all these coins, all these platforms. So it says Western Coin currently has an unpatched exploit, which allows you to move more than double your initial deposit. So, you know, this particular platform, loads of people, I probably had 20 people in the last two days ask me about Western Coin. All of the information is here. It's on hyip-rotation-system.com. I'm going to actually put a link to this because it actually gives the idea of high yielding internet, uh, high yielding investment platforms generically, and it gives you a synopsis and a breakdown of how they see things. So you've got BitBIOS, it tells you how it's brand new. But once again, they made the mistake of showing users and deposits in their site. So this talks about transparency. And it also talks about this thing called um, health analysis. So today we're actually doing a health analysis on BitConnect. It's very important that as a community we understand the signals of when these different phases, now these phases 
do apply to BitConnect too. So you've got the seeding, you've got securing the return on investment, you've got the expanding, you've got harvesting, you have the generic health analysis of the system to see how long it is sustainable for when it reaches this point. Then you have the scaling and then you have the rotation. When we get to the rotation area, it says here, by now you should have a burning wreck of an H y i p in front of you and usually anywhere from a 10 times returns on your initial investment what they're saying is, is that it's not going to last forever but if you get in at the right time if you get in early enough and you find the platform that will be there long enough you can then plan your exit plan and then rotate to the next thing that will take over okay so this is what we advocate what we're saying is is that as a community we are very much we understand that this system will not last for 50 years or 100 years or indefinitely in the way that it's set up now. Now, BitConnect can be sustainable forever if they moderate and mediate their, their structure. And when I say structure, I mean the referral payouts and the levels of interest that they're currently paying. Can the rates that they're, do, that they're paying now be sustainable forever? The answer, long term, I'm going to say long term, I mean like a decade on, the answer is no, which is the reason why, you know, they've actually scaled down some of the referral system. I would imagine in the next two to three years, it will be scaled down considerably again if they want to stay here for 10 years or more. It's entirely systematically and probably um, factual because this is what will probably happen and I predicted the last one I didn't think it would happen as soon as it did but it did when it went from 10 to 7 levels of referral from 7 levels down to 3 uh, a few weeks ago but it's not a problem all they're doing is saying we understand that we have to be sustainable long term and this is what we're doing to actually make it sustainable with more people joining the system if you're paying 7%, 10%, 5%, 3%, 2% two and 2 and 1 and 1 and 0.5 and 0.3 for every person that signs up, you cannot sustain that forever. So the system, as more people grow, you have to be able to sustain all the new people that come into the system. And BitConnect have shown that kind of responsibility and be very, very open about it because they do understand that there are these seven phases um, of these high yielding interest platforms. So if you go to the HYIP top list, you will see if you go down to go down to BitConnect. So it says here that BitConnect.co is by far the biggest HIYP right now and its referral links are pretty much all around the web. This one is especially interesting for those who are able to build referral networks. BitConnect offers one of the best paying ones and its size and slow growth guarantee that you'll be able to profit from these referrals for a long time. Key points, daily fluctuating interest rates, uh, average 0.85, proven to be um, to promote themselves really, really well. Slow growth, but very low risk at this point. Trading opportunities on their internal BCC BT, BTC exchange and extremely big affiliate program. Now they rate this as phase one seeding. Okay, as of today, current cycle is three. So they're talking about the double down cycle. If you understand how these systems work, Okay, it even gives you the thing about people say oh, it's a Ponzi scheme, it's a massive scam. It gives you um, the difference between HYIPs, Ponzi's, and scams. Okay, a scam is something where you will never earn money. Ponzi schemes is where the whole system is designed to fail from the get go. HYIP is designed to be a, a lot longer than that based on uh, market trends. So as long as Bitcoin does well, as long as people keep coming into the system, as long as we keep building teams, and uh, you know, as long as those three avenues carry on, it is indefinitely sustainable. It's when it starts dropping off, it's the problem. So I don't know how long that will be. It could be three years, could be 10 years. As a community, we need to understand that this is a system with an end. We also need to know that as a system, the the market will give us long-term indicators that will tell you, you know, when we get to the midpoint, when we get to the expanding area, when we get to the harvesting area, when we get to the scaling out area, and when we need to get to the rotation 
uh, time where we need to start thinking about moving some of our money and, and cashing out and moving into a different system, you know, the system that will take over from BitConnect one day. Uh, all these things aren't supposed to be here forever. But if you're going to adopt a platform, then it at least needs to be able to give you the returns that you want. So if you're investing, you need to know for your sake, for your family's sake and for your future's sake, if you are coming out of the fiat system and then going into Bitcoin or BitConnect, you need to be able to ensure that it has the legs to be able to go through everything that you want to achieve out of that system. And BitConnect at this point in time right now, and for the short term foreseeable future, it can do it. Okay, check out some of our other videos. Our other videos give you the finances. It gives you the, um, it gives you the, uh, the input stream. It gives you the strategic um, way that BitConnect earns money and the different revenue streams that BitConnect has. If you understand that fully, and I'm not sure that Cliff actually understands that. Obviously, he's he's pulled everything into this whole HYIP um, basket of it's going to blow up, it's going to be a scam. This poor guy has actually been bit already by um, by Bitpetit. And I knew from day one that Bitpetit was, was a scam. It was never going to work by the nature of the way it was set up. It, I, I knew that about control finance. There was no way it was ever going to work. So if you use these things, I'll actually stick this link in the uh, in the comments box below, but I want everyone to understand what the term um, sustainable actually means. It doesn't mean forever. So the only reason why we choose a platform like BitConnect is because it has really, really long legs. It has years to go until it gets into these harvesting phases and expanding phases and health analysis and scaling out. And us as a community should be, we should be looking at these matrices. We should be looking at the analysis of the system. We should be looking at the money in the system. We should look at how many people are using it, how many people are cashing in, how many people are cashing out. I look at this every single day. If I thought there was an issue right now, I would be telling everybody. We don't build communities. I do not build teams to bring them in to rip them off. That isn't what I do. I want to be able to walk outside and meet some of you guys at the next conference in a year's time, two years time, three years time. And for us to all have these success stories. Okay, this isn't uh, this isn't an ego trip for me to make these videos. I'm an educator. And you can think of BitConnect, HIYPs, generally. You can think of these a little bit like religions, because when you're in it, you're very, very defensive over it. And the thing is, is that being defensive or because you're part of it doesn't make you right. You have a vested interest because you put so much energy into it. And just because you put all your energy into it doesn't mean it's going to be here forever and it doesn't mean that you are right you know it doesn't matter if you're Christian doesn't matter if you're Catholic doesn't matter if you're Protestant doesn't matter if it doesn't matter what religion you're in you know they can't all be right so if we look at it analytically and this is something I do know about because I, I, I've written books about it I mean um, I'm not really in one for promoting but just to give you a background if I can actually search my Google if we look for a book called Us um, by Dr. Roy Murphy, you can see, there you go, so it's on Amazon now, so it is actually Black Friday, isn't it? So um, we've actually had a reduced rate. This has been reduced from £12 to £3.79. Now, I'm not actually advertising. All I'm saying is, is that, you know, I didn't write 100,000 words in a book with 175,000 book sales in all good bookstores. <laughs> um, this is something that I know something about. So, you know, collaboration with, um, with mindsets of how people work, with mindsets about how people think, just because you are engaged in something and you feel part of it. This is something that Cliff has actually spoken about, that it's it's something that if you feel passion for something, it kind of becomes a stronger emotional feeling and that doesn't make it right. 
it just kind of empowers you to carry on on the journey that you're doing. So if you look at um, the synopsis of this book, it says, Dis discover a fast paced and exciting insight into the age of mankind, asking the most profound questions of our species. From the cradle of life to the dawn of civilization, we walk through the age of human discovery. This is a rhetorical journey of our species and the impact that our total domination on this planet has upon all of us. Using empirical scientific data, Dr. Roy Murphy weaves a powerful and shocking story of historical myths and political corruption throughout the ages of man due to the lies and deceit of those who are in power, hampering the enlightenment and future progress of humanity. Religion and fundamentalist uh, institutions are at the helm of our society and is also the tempo of this punchy story which builds into a crescendo that grabs the jugular of every reader. So. I'm not actually promoting my book. Um, I'm not saying you even look for it or search for it. I'm not even going to give you a link to it. So um, if this is something that would interest you and you want a copy, just write to me at the email address or write to me um, on YouTube. I'm happy to give you a free copy. So I'm not selling anything. All I'm saying is, is that this is a lot of my background is to look at the understanding of the you know philosophies of how humans work, um, the ways that people think cryptocurrency and the way that we do things this is to do with the perceptions that we have and the perceptions of who we are and why we do things is kind of set by who our parents are the place we went to school it's to do with our media just because they are your perceptions these are filters that we build up over time and we can change those filters we can by understanding this book is about understanding about what we are who we are as humanity um, where we're going and you know the objections and hurdles that we will face along the way it's exactly the same when we're looking at these uh, with these people talking um, predominantly about uh, BitConnect we are not just saying that this is a religion BitConnect is there we're using it so it's going to be the best we cannot look at it in those terms anymore we have to be objective we have to be honest with ourselves and when these facts of of what's happening with bitconnect i don't want any more questions about is it you know it's going to happen i know it is is it a scam is it a ponzi scheme does it have legs um is it going to i mean one of the things that cliff spoke about in one of his other videos is that on the 8th of january bitconnect is going to crash and it's all going to be over and that's it that's the end of this massive ponzi scheme this is not the case okay so i just want you to understand ask questions keep asking questions ask in the comments box below if you haven't already like and subscribe i'm roy murphy you've been watching the bitconnect youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video this video was brought to you by team smurf we bring you new videos each and every day to join our team click the referral link below this video don't forget to like and subscribe, and interact with us in the comments box below. But connect. Creating wealth for everyone.